Hi guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org and as promised I'm going to deliver the interface tutorial. Um, what an interface is, is like an abstract class but has no implementation. And I haven't gone over what an abstract class is yet, but what it is, is pretty much, uh, let's type it out. It's very hard to explain unless I'm typing it out and you can visually see. But because that all methods and in interface are inherently abstract and public, the abstract keyword is not necessary. And we're going to terminate e each method signature with a semicolon. And unlike um, in when you're using inheritance, you can't extend more than one parent class, but you can implement many uh, interfaces. So let me show you how to make an interface. Don't just click this C where it's new Java class, but see how there's an option right here. You go here and you go to interface. And now I'm going to say, um, let's see, what should I call this interface? Uh, player characteristics, or player actions go okay and if you can see in here you can also extend interfaces and you can add as many in there as you want so let's finish this and this is how you write this is it's just like writing a class except for nothing is implemented and if you don't understand what that means here we go you're going to say you don't need to say public because everything in here is understood to be public so we're going to say void player shoots and that is a method where when you instantiate a method you open close curly brackets and you write whatever is in the method on well, here we're not going to instantiate it we are going to give it a semicolon and whatever class implements the interface is where you write this method so I'm gonna give it two to be short. Let's say void shoots and void player passes. Okay. And now what we can do is we can write a class. I'm gonna write a driver class real quick with the main method just so we can do everything in there. If we need it, get that out of the way. Alright, and now we're gonna have a new class and we're gonna call this player. And we're going to I'm not going to use the, the quick shortcuts for interfaces just yet, just so you can see how to write them. But let's say that we want the player object, and we want these methods in there. And the reason the interface is, is because we can have multiple interfaces, but they're very they're abstract because you can do whatever you want with them in each object. So this is a way of getting around the multiple inheritance issue with Java. So let's see what happens if instead of in inheritance, the keyword was extends. In interface, the keyword is implements. We're going to say it implements player actions. And now if you go underneath player, you can say add unimplemented methods. And there you go. It says add override, and it has these two methods, and this is where you define them. And since this player object implements these new methods, this is where you instantiate these methods. So let's say player shoots. We're going to give it a sys out. Uh, I'm just going to say that player player shoots the puck. Let's just say shoots because not everybody's a hockey fan like me, so shoots can be any any type of sport almost. So let's say sys out player passes. Let's make this exciting with exclamation points. All right, so now we have a player object that does these things, which are implemented from this interface and you can have multiple interfaces different interfaces and you can 
implement multiple interfaces on an object. So if you wanted to get very technical, the structure for extending and implementing um, superclasses and interfaces would look something like this. We would extend, there's going to be a few red lines because none of these exist, so player extends um, team implements player actions uh, stats um, etc. So the, this could be a real life uh, public class header would be the public class extends comes first and then what is implemented and this is a great way of if you work in a, on a team where there's multiple workers and not one person's programming the whole thing is you can give an interface that will uh, give um, the method heads method names uh, to, to the people who are going to be writing the program and they have access to this interface and they can just say implements this uh, and then they can customize it however they want so that is basically what an interface is and next tutorial I'll get into abstract classes which is pretty much a combination of a class and an interface at the same time thank you all for watching and please subscribe to my channel thank you very much